What's up, man? It's your boy New City Lil D, man. I'm here rocking with Red Cage. My boy Busy and my nigga Smoke. Let's get it. Yo, what's that word, my boy? What's that word, my boy? Chillin', man. <laughs> Appreciate you coming out to fuck with me and my boy Smoke. What do do, Lil D? You know, you know, we, we go back, Smoke. We go back a couple years, right? Oh, flats, Cadillac. <laughs> Two flats on a fucking moped or something. <laughs> we finally yeah. got you on Red Cage. It's been a minute, bro. What yeah. you know, you chillin'? Yeah, man, you know. All right, well, shit, Same we, shit. we, we yeah. uh, tapping in with you and shit. You know, I've been knowing you for a minute. And I know all the shit you got going on, the bit I've been going on, but it's a lot of people that don't. So that's why we got you out here today, you feel me? That's right. So shit, really, we just gonna kick it right off on the basics. Um, about, like, your life, shit, where you grew up and how that and how it was. Shit, um, I grew up on the west side of Chicago, and uh, the uh, row houses, basically the row houses to the projects, but we kind of got our own identity, but if you ain't from that area, you would, you would say we all the same thing, we all the projects, you know, but I grew up in the row houses, uh, we call ourselves the townhouses in New City, you know, but... I grew up like an average childhood, like it was it was fun, you know? It was the ghetto, you know? The usual ghetto for kids, you know? So everything was like, cause I know like Houston, we got our shit spread out. Yeah. So in Chicago, it was like close. Yeah, it was like, it was like, we got, see like, my neighborhood, bro, it, it stretched to two blocks, right? Mm. And then across, when you cross the street, they go to project buildings. And the project buildings went for like five, six blocks. Damn. So only one street separated my neighborhood and the project buildings. The one street. One street. One street. It take fucking thirty minutes to get from right here to the north side. <laughs> right, on one, a good day. One street separated us, bro. So that's why everybody thought like, I right, they the same thing. They all you feel me? That's one. You know what I mean? Facts. 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 That's yeah. one. If you hear me, but if you from there, you know, I right, that's the sound I mean. the Harry Hornets, you know, but it's all fine. It's all love. Yeah, in fact the the Hornets, uh, if you familiar with Chicago culture yeah. and like the um projects and shit, a lot of motherfuckers be saying stories about the Hornets and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hornets they go. say it was crazy, huh? Yeah, man, that shit go back. They got they got, they was one of them they was one of them. In them hoods, man, they legendary. A lot yeah. of a lot of legendary people came through that one for me. Right. So, That's your family or from and shit though? My own family from the townhouse. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. Original, right. Right. original from the townhouse. Born and raised right there, 1648. Like my grandma, I was my block, my crib is on the block where I was born. In. So I, all the action I seen, everything. Every every everybody over there I know, you know. Granny or crib, huh? Type shit, real granny crib. Yeah. <laughs> Who all was uh, in there with you, man? Shit, it was all of us, man. It was, it was my, my, me, my mom, shit, my auntie, kids, shit, my uncle, my grandma, my great grandma, my little sister, my brother. Man, everybody came like that was the crib. That was headquarters, basically, you know. Shit, type shit. So yeah, okay, yeah. that was that was that was your mama granny that mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was my mama granny, you know. That was my great grandma. She was she was that was her career, my great grandma career. Right, right. What's up with your pops? He was out there? No, nah, man, I ain't uh, my pops he was absent. Like I ain't really fuck with my pops, you feel me? Was it a you thing or a him thing? Mm, like okay. me, me thing or a him thing. Right, like you ain't fuck with him, or he ain't fuck with you, or was I mean, he was I, I was a shit. kid. I wanted, to, I wanted a father. You feel? I mm -hmm. was a kid. I wanted a father. So it was like, uh, after so many times, and him like lying to me, I kind of fell back. Like, man, I don't need that shit. I ain't Type gonna shit. Keep getting. You feel me? I kept getting hurt. So I'm like, man, fuck a father. I don't need no father. Right. And it's just rocking with me and my mom. Shit. Like, I look at it, you know. Yeah. Okay. But I ain't gonna lie, that like not having a father, that made me be the best father. Cause I know exactly what my kids you feel miss. Me? Really? That's so, what they need. So like what kind of influence did Chicago have on you growing up type shit? 
Growing up, oh, it had fucked up influence. Like, I, it was, I was a follower. It was a follower, man. I ain't gonna lie. Mm-hmm. I was a follower. So, like, I wanted to do everything my homies and I was doing. Y'all outside. And That's man, what I did. Outside. And I was the youngest one. You feel me? I was the youngest one out of everybody I hung with. And I was the smallest one, too. So, it's like, I had to kind of, you know, if I want to hang, I got to, you feel me? <laughs> oh, man, I'm getting left. So it's like, I got to do it anyway. Even if I fail, goddamn it, I got to try it, you feel me? For sure. So it was like, uh, everybody was like, you know, we all home together, though. Yeah, bro. It was, it was, it was some shit, man. We did some shit. At some young age, we did some shit. Man. Now, that's how them parties, we got to call it, what, the Fifi's? What? Good. You clap. I mean, Fifi, <laughs> wow, man. Fifi, that's... See, Fifi, that's more like 2000s. Uh, yeah. you, like, you were born in 2000, too. Nah, you talking about 54. You talking about like uh, early age, though, you feel me? You said growing up, you feel me? Like, nah, for that's sure. That's what you talking about early age, like in the 90s and shit, like 99s and shit like yeah. that, you feel me? So, 99s, that was like really when, you know, he was a kid. The thousands, right. that was in like Fifi's. I'm, I'm out here in the streets. You know what I mean? I'm trying to get it. For sure. Right, that's a whole another era. You know? That's it. You, you, you uh, <laughs> fuck with any other sports and shit when you were younger? Oh, yeah, yeah, bro. I was, uh, it's so crazy that you talk about that, man. I was, uh, I was one of the best baseball players. Down in the city, bro. Uh, but, uh, what happened? Uh, it, was a, it was a couple things that happened. Uh, the coach that was uh, really instilling in him, he uh, moved to Georgia. And uh, shit, all my homies, they started playing bad basketball. Mm-hmm. And with baseball, shit, when I used to go to the game, I used to pitch. And then I used to be looking around. Like, nobody used to be at the game. Welcome, my friends, to the first ever playing of a new sport. Like nobody, like the game just to be dry. I'm like, bro, I'm doing all this and shit. Try then I'll go to the basketball gym. Can move like that, and yes, he is that skilled. Man, that bitch busting. I'm gonna oh, yeah, learn. I gotta learn how to play basketball. I'm those on. And I'm, I'm kind of, you feel me, blue. Yeah, but it's like, hey, I was a father. I ain't had no dad to tell me, look, nigga, we finna stay with your girl. Ooh, you feel me? So, For sure. I, I was a follower. I followed my homie. I'm not bad. Gave him up.